time next week, we may know the winners of Nebraska's hottest political races. Tonight, though, there is a seat still up for grabs because no one's running for it. KATV News Watch 7's Adrian Witsett joins us live. And Rob Bennington's small city council of four was short candidates for two spots. No one filed paperwork to run or even has a write in contender. But tonight, with a week to go, there is finally a race for one of the seats. As the sun begins to set on the 2014 election, it also sets on Bob Bruner's two years as a Ward 2 councilman. I told him when I got on the council that I did not plan on running for a full term. Bruner says voter apathy hasn't helped draw candidates. Uh, a lot of people want to state their opinions, but they don't want to run for an office. Kay Bridgeford does both. After serving on a council opposing the 156th Street project, she got interested in Bennington's politics and procedures. Well, and I also want future generations to maybe want to come back and settle here and raise our families here. The small business owner plans to focus on the town's growing debt. We want our community to be um, fiscally thriving, and we want to meet our obligations, and we want to continue to um, be able to provide our citizens with the best um, community that they can have. Scott Howells moved to Bennington three years ago, but already sees a way to push it forward. We need to um, promote our town. You know, there's a lot of nice businesses, a lot of nice services, and we need to, some draw from the outside area to help support our local economy. I mean, that's Howells kind of points to his experience running a business for 30 years and dealing with budgets, and just like Bridgeford, sees a growing debt problem. Trim back if we have to, or to adjust spending, uh, just to make sure that. The citizens are, are getting their money's worth for their city services. That are. This is truly a write-in race. You'll need to print the name and fill in the oval for its account next Tuesday. In Ward 1, no one stepped up to run. Current council member Julie Dunn says she'll stay on until they can find a replacement, but technically the council would have a quorum with just three. Brandy, back to you. Thank you.